Medical spa in Davenport shut down unexpectedly. That left some customers in the dark. One woman says she lost thousands of dollars and she wants answers. That is tonight's top story. The Medical Aesthetics and Wellness Center is located on Utica Ridge Road in Davenport. It offers services like Botox and laser hair treatment. This morning, customers got an email saying the practice had shut down. Local force Tahara Rahman investigated and joins us in our studio with what she found. Tahara? Jim, Tiffany, one customer named Becky did not want to be shown on camera for fear of backlash, but she says she just spoke with an employee over the phone yesterday who never mentioned that the business would shut down virtually overnight. Now we've come to find out that the doctor behind the business has a past of his own. I went in January to get an assessment to see if I was a candidate and they said I was. At the start of the year, Becky signed up for two sessions of cool sculpting, a non-surgical procedure to reduce fat. I had just been wanting to do something for myself after having kids. She scheduled her first appointment with the Medical Aesthetics and Wellness Center in Davenport. They rescheduled me from February 7th to the 16th, and then I got a call yesterday that said they had a family emergency and couldn't perform on the 16th, so I rescheduled out to March. Then, an unexpected message this morning. I got an email that said the business closed indefinitely. Becky now finds herself short $6,700. We visited the storefront on Utica Ridge Road, finding a sign that the business is closed. <laughs> We also called to get some answers. Due to unforeseen circumstances, the office is closed effective today, February 14, 2019. An email has been sent out as a follow-up. But we got a hold of that email and there's no information about refunds for customers. So we did a background check on Paul Bolger, the doctor associated with the spa and found he's the same doctor we brought you in 2016 and 17. He pleaded guilty to more than 20 counts of false statements and misbranding drugs. I didn't know that prior to booking, so unfortunately I'm not sure what's going on this time. Becky says she's not sure how the federal charges would impact customers like her in Davenport, but she knows she can't be alone. I'm not trying to villainize the company. I just hope they do the right thing and, and pay people back. Dr. Paul Bolger's sentencing is scheduled for next week. Right now, it's unclear if those legal proceedings have anything to do with the facility's sudden shutdown. Now, we'll continue investigating to bring you more answers. In the studio, Tahira Rahman, Local 4 News.